What's up everyone and welcome to Techverse. In this video I will show you how to make a um, 1000 watts or more inverter just with a few components. It's based on the CD4047 multivibrator I see. So for the input you can use 12 volts or 24 volts if you want to have less current on the primary side. So if you use more than 12 volts I recommend you use a voltage regulator. The 7812 voltage regulator will work just fine to power the IC, all the connections are shown. So basically the IC acts as an, a stable multivibrator. The oscillator output in the tin generates square wave output passes and the Q and Q map in 10 and 11 react at, as comp complementaries of each other, meaning when Q is high, Q bar is low and vice versa. So all connections are shown, connect the VCC pin 14, pin 5, 4 and 6 to 12 volts from the regulator and connect pins 8, 12 and the enable pin 9 to ground. So the frequency is determined by the timing resistor R1 and the timing capacitor C3. So the capacitor will change then discharge through the resistor R1 and so at RC you will have your sawtooth which will be compared and used to generate square wave output passes at both pin 10 and 11. So when pin 10 is high the MOSFETs Q1, Q2 and Q3 will all conduct and since Q, Q bar is low or 11 is low the MOSFETs Q9, Q10 and Q11 will all be off. So when the upper MOSFETs all conduct current flow from the 12 volts rail through the this half primary winding through all the MOSFETs to ground. So when Q turns low Q bar will be high and the lower MOSFETs will all conduct and current will flow the other way in the primary winding through the MOSFETs into ground. So you have this C4 and C5 connected across the drain and source of all the MOSFETs to act as voltage spike arresters. Since this is a push-pull driver, there will be some voltage spikes generated when the MOSFETs are switching and C4 and C5, they shot this MOSFET, these voltage spikes to ground and so protect the MOSFETs from getting damaged or overheating. If you mount the MOSFETs on appropriate sized heat sinks, you can pump more than a thousand watts out of this simple inverter and the transformer ensures that it can handle that amount of power. So the output should be about to 40 volts. If you have a transformer written for 40 to 12 or 12, or if you have a transformer written for 120 to 12 or 12, the output will be about 120 volts. So the PCB loops are shown. You can see all the high current carrying trucks. They are heavily emphasized to carry the extra amount of current. They can easily handle about 100 amperes without a problem. So this is the IC and its mandatory biasing circuit. These are the inputs, the batteries, the power MOSFET on one side and the other side. This is the power transformer. If you intend to use a power transformer, or if not, you can just connect the primary windings to this track, this mid center tap, the mid row and the other side and then omit this but if you use a power transformer connections are shown and here you have your high voltage AC the 3D view for the projects looks as shown you can see the components count is rather few for quite its power so basically that's all about this inverter don't forget to drop a like you can comment if you have any suggestions or questions and most importantly subscribe to my channel for future amazing projects and tutorials and also don't forget to click the notifications bell to get notified immediately when I upload new videos. I wish you a nice time.